In this video, we are going to learn how to divide polynomials. But before we get to that, we're going to look at multiplication and review multiplication first for a reason. So this is why we're going to review multiplication. So 3 times 4, we know that is equal to 12. If I was to draw this out, that means I have 3 by 4, which gives me an area of 12. Okay, or 12 units squared. So if this was meters, meters, this is 12 meters squared. Now, let's say we knew my area, my area is equal to 12. How do I find what my side lengths are? Well, if I know one side length is 4, I could find the other side length by going 12 divided by 4 is equal to 3. So in other words, we could rearrange this around, so saying divide, divide, and then we get 3. So the reason why I did that is because we're going to be looking pictorially how division of polynomials work, and before we do that, we have to review multiplication. So let's go over this here. I have one review of multiplication here, and we have 2x uh, multiplied by x plus 4. So let's first set this up. This is my multiplication, so we want to know what are my boundaries. We have two x's right here, and we are multiplying it by x plus 4. x, and then we're going to have 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Now, what does that give us? Well, we go this length times this length gives me an x squared. And we have to do that again. This length times this length gives me an x squared. Always remember, for this purpose here, I'm going to say all colors are positive and whites are negative, okay? Now, we're going to go right here. We have this length multiplied by that width. And then we have a length or a height and a width. This height, that width. This height here multiplied by this width. And we keep on doing this to fill this out. And we're essentially doing something called the distributive property. Which ends up giving us right here. Now we're done. We have a nice perfect square. We're going to end up getting 2x squared plus 8x is going to be my answer. Because if we think about it, we're going 2x multiplied by x, and then we're going these 2x multiplied by those 4s. So that's how we get 2x squared uh, multiply, or plus 8x. All right, so now let's try our first division one. So here I have 9x plus 6 divided by 3. I want to know what that equals or simplifies to. So 9x plus 6. So in other words, remember how we said that when we did multiplication. I have something multiplied by 3 is going to give me this 9x plus 6, right? Because this is the part right here we divided, we're dividing by. So in other words, this 9x plus 6 is going to have to go in there. So looking at this, I'm going to have 3, 1, 2, 3, and in the middle, I have to have 9x's plus 6. So here is 3x's. I'm just going to move this up a bit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, and then we're going to have 9, and then we want to add 6. 1, 2, and we're going to have 5, 6. So we're going to have to rearrange these. So this is going to be my height only. So I have a 1 height, another 1 height, and another 1 height. Now I can't go any more down here because my restrictions are only there. That's my boundary. So I'm going to take another 3, put them like that, until I use up all my x's. And then this 3, move them there. Okay. So now that I have those, I want to now figure out what is going to be my, my remaining 1's here. So I can only put these there because of their, their height. That's my restriction on my height, is only there, and I can only put 3. Then I have another 3 that are going to go like this. So my answer for this is, we're looking at this now, we're going to find my width. Well, we have an x width, I have another x width here, and I have another x width here. 
and I have one, two ones. So my answer ends up being here for my area is we have three x's plus two. Now let's look at this closely. We're going nine x divided by three is equal to three x's. Six divided by three is equal to two. So we are still using that magical word here, the distributive property to figure this out. We're dividing both terms by my monomial. So everything in the brackets must be divided by the monomial. Just like when we looked at multiplication, everything in the brackets must be multiplied by the monomial. So this one's a bit different. We're dividing by negative two. So I'm going to put negative two right here. Okay. And then we have in the middle uh, two x's, one, two, and we have negative four. So that's four of these flipped over. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I'm gonna line these up. So I have two x's, and we're just making this, because this tells us what our height can be only. And now we have to match our width. Now, I look at this here, these are white, that's a color. So negative and a positive. So when I go a positive divided by a negative, what am I going to get? I'm actually going to get a negative. Okay? Now, we have a negative divided by a negative. That's going to give me a positive. So when I'm matching these, these have to actually flip to be the opposite color because we have the negative there. So now I look at this. It's like dividing both of these by negative 2. We end up getting x plus, or negative x plus 2 as an answer. And that's how we divide, uh, that's how we divide pictorially. Now we're going to do an example or two concretely. So let's try something like this. So let's say I have um, 7x squared minus 4 or 14x. And I want to divide this by 7x. Well, let's take a look at this. So if you remember, we have to use the distributive property. So I'm going to have to take 7x squared divided by 7x. I have to divide both of these by 7x. So 7x squared divided by 7x is going to leave me with 7 divided by 7 is 1. And then x squared divided by x is x. So that's just going to leave me with x. Now I have to go negative 14 divided by 7 is negative 2. And then x divided by x is 1. So my answer for this is just going to be x minus 2. Let's try one more. So here I have another one. This is a trinomial. And I want to divide this by 4. Well, if I divide this by 4, I'm going to end up looking at this. And we go uh, negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1. Then we have and we have an x, because there's no x to be divided. 8 divided by 4 is 2. And then we have an xy. And then we're going to have 12 divided by 4 is 3. And there is my answer.